Hey guys, welcome back to Voice Bootcamp. My name is Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a visual voice browser and then customize the visual voice browser to, uh, you know, basically work with CVP and whatnot. So one of the first thing you, you're going to do when you have your PC, uh, I guess your PCC setup deployed is to initialize the visual voice browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into our visual voice browser. And one of the first thing that you will see when you log in after the installation is it will try to what they call uh, is activate services. Now, right now my services are all activated. So it is important that you should not add the visual voice browser without activating those services. Okay, that's the important thing. All right, so right now, as you can see, the service has been activated. Therefore, I am right now in the login page. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to my UCCE and I'm going to go to my infrastructure card, click on inventory, and in inventory, you'll see that there is no visual voice browser currently set up in anywhere in this page. So you're going to click on external machine and we're going to add the visual uh, virtualized, right? Not visual, my apology, virtualized voice browser. Keep calling it visual for some reason. All right, so that is the IP address and your administrator and voice bootcamp. Okay, so this is going to add the server and as it adds the server into the inventory, it also creates a device configuration tab that was not there in before you're adding these services. So you can see that it's been successfully added. You can also see the status of synchronization. Synchronization indicates to you that the both the PCCE and Visual Voice uh, Virtualized Voice Browser VVB are in sync in terms of configuration is concerned. So once this is done, what you're going to do, you're going to go back to device configuration. And in the device configuration, you will see this little tab called Virtualized Voice Browser. And what you're going to do is under application trigger, we're going to configure whatever the application trigger that we want, the network VRU label. Now, the default one is 77777, well, approximately 10 sevens. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create, just for the sake of it, uh, exactly the same thing with number eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it has eight digit, so okay, we'll try to keep it eight digit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, star. Star means any number after that eight. So when I do that, it will have a similar number of digit. As soon as I save it, now obviously, obviously you're gonna do this for the application which is called comprehensive. So it has three type of application, comprehensive, a ringtone and error. But because we are adding a trigger for comprehensive, we're gonna choose this particular trigger. Okay, so now that it's done, okay, what really happened? Well, if you go to your uh, virtualized voice browser, you go to application, click on application management, and you select this application which we selected called comprehensive. And as you, as you select them, on the left hand side, you'll see the same la uh, label has been added into that application. So you can add as many triggers you want and it's gonna come to this particular application and it's going to include that in here as a trigger. All right, so that's the first thing we're gonna do, add the uh, initialized uh, virtualized voice browser or VBB. So right now, that's all we really need to do for this particular lab, and I'll see you in the next lab.